50 Cent Savage Jay-Z over the Diddy police assaults on Tuesday, and asserted the rapper isn't, noting his telephone, to the enduring an onslaught artist in the midst of his sex-dealing test. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. As part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation and as the 54-year-old rapper faces multiple mounting lawsuits and accusations of sexual abuse, federal agents raided Sean Diddy Combs' homes on Monday afternoon. 50 Cent famously feuded with Jay-Z when he was starting out, rapping in a 1999 song about sticking up for his rap peers, including the 99 Problems hitmaker. Last month, Usher revealed that he, Jay, Pharrell, and D. We discussed it frequently, we had a few mystery gatherings about it. We discussed both the kind of music we would make and the business part, yet we were all occupied with different things and we were unable to complete it, despite the fact that I truly believed it should work out. This comes after 50 Cent drove the charge of Hollywood stars responding to the fresh insight about Diddy's homes being struck. The rapper shared a TMZ article on Instagram as well as a depiction of Fox 11's inclusion about Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami being encircled by country security specialists as a component of a continuous sex dealing. His remarks come after previous Danity Kane part Aubrey O'Day took to her Instagram to impart a title of the strike to the subtitle, You Will Reap What You Sow. I ask this encourages us all casualties to at long last talk on what we have persevered. Diddy collected Danity Kane during MTV's Making the Band in 2005. In 2008, O'Day was kicked out of the group, but he returned in 2013. Diddy was quite possibly of the most extraordinary individual you might at any point work with, O'Day told Assortment in 2019. I encountered all that from race remarks to sexism and a ton of it was terrifying. We will continuously uphold policing it looks to indict those that have disregarded the law, Wigder said. Ideally, this is the start of an interaction that will hold Mr. Looks over liable for his debased lead. In November 2023, Cassie, whose genuine name is Cassandra Ventura, blamed Looks over for assault and rehashed actual maltreatment. The claim affirmed how he supposedly controlled and mishandled Cassie for north of 10 years, as well as utilizing her with drugs, beating her, and constraining her to engage in sexual relations with different male whores while he watched and kept not long after Cassie uncovered the charges in November. O'Day gave her, full help, to the vocalist in a proclamation to Drifter. Taking on quite possibly of the most remarkable individual in this industry and speak the truth about your involvement in them is difficult. I understand what her heart is feeling at present, since I have done as such too, the assertion started. May her voice offer all the others of real value, so we can begin having more straightforward discussions about the thing is really occurring in the background. There is something else entirely to our accounts as a whole. The responses follow the news that government specialists plummeted on Diddy's homes as a component of a continuous sex dealing test. As previously reported, when agents went through his properties on Monday afternoon, Diddy was nowhere to be found. His whereabouts are obscure after government specialists assaulted his homes and apparently kept two of his children. The branch of country security and other neighborhood policing reached by DailyMail.com on Tuesday have not had the option to remark on Diddy's location his fly took off from the Van Nuys Air Terminal in Los Angeles at 9 a.m. on Monday. The rapper was then spotted around 3 p.m. at the Miami Opelika Chief Air Terminal, only a couple of hours after the strikes began. Diddy was seen walking about the Traditions office at the Air Terminal, however he was not being kept in any design. He was apparently looking out for others in his party, who were being addressed by government authorities. He was supposed to be never handcuffed or arrested, and, in spite of his other plane going to Antigua, Diddy isn't supposed to be on the run by any means. According to TMZ, the private jet...